number one, a photo doubles or triples the connection rate. So always, always, always have a photo. Believe it or not, a stock photo is worse than no photo. Photos have always been critical. They're critical now more than ever with more and more people doing research online. So again, make sure you have quality photos. All right? Number two, this is a Carfax connection. So don't worry about the history. Don't be afraid of accidents. That's our job. We peel back the onion. We make customers comfortable with that accident. When they connect with you, they already know about the accident. So don't let the accident stand in your way. Again, this is Carfax working for you. Number three, okay, it goes without saying, but you need to make sure you are priced to market with a history consideration, all right? When you price your vehicle to market and you show them the history and you make the connections, that's what builds the values for the consumers. Dealers are telling us more and more and more, the better job they do with their details, the better jobs they do with their listings, um, and just don't do VIN explosions, and you combine that with history and you price to market, that's really what makes it sing, all right? Number four, this is a big one, all right? This is a big one. With millennials becoming more and more of our customers, okay, do not respond to an email with a phone call. Remember, millennials do not like to talk on the phone at first. You'll build that rapport with them. You'll get them to talk to you on the phone. But your first response should be a personable, general email, not an automated one. Send out that first personal email asking your consumer, how would you like us to communicate with you? Remember, our system is drawing more and more millennials. Millennials like to communicate in several different ways. Your best knowledge would be to find out how they like to communicate and communicate with them in a way that makes them feel comfortable. All right? Fifth, diversified inventory. Again, if you're a, uh, a Toyota store, for example, and you realize all of a sudden that You've got 95% Toyota. The challenge for you there is you're limiting your scope for your audience. It's great for Toyota, but in this example, you're really limiting and narrowing your field. Of course, that's going to reduce the connection points. Of course, that's going to reduce the amount of traffic you get to your store. 